to start preparing for the chip rail supports and for the drink rail. I went around and I sanded the top edge of the entire table so it is smooth and it is flat. So that way the chip rail support will rest flat and it's a good place to mount. Next part we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out a 45 degree angle at the dealer box. Um, and what I did is I took a square and I put it at a 45 degree angle, took a marker and I marked it off. I also marked the top here. So I'm gonna cut this part out um, and I'll do the same on the other end. And then once I'm done with the other side, I'll come back with a belt center and I'll sand this smooth so that way it's a nice flat edge for our finish for later. We're going to draw a stencil that will be used for the drink tray outside radius corner and also the base for the chip tray. The inside of the curve is at 11 and a quarter inches. The outside of the curve is at 18 and three quarter inches. So we're going to find a mark on the corner and I have a piece of rope here that's 18 and three quarter inch long and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right on the edge of the paper and I'm going to pull this tight and I will mark it at, at 18 and, and 3 quarters and I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Then what I'll do is I will put the pen on that mark again on the one I just made and I'll make an X out here, a line. I'll do the same thing for here. Put this right on the edge, pull this tight And right where that line crosses, that will be my starting point for the arc. So I will put my mark right on that, right there, and then I will draw the arc out on the paper. Okay. That's going to be our outside mark. Our inside arch right. is at 11 and a quarter. But remember that our tray is going to be seven and a half inches wide. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line. We're going to go in seven and a half inches. Seven and a half inches, seven and a half inches, and then I'll do also another seven and a half from this side. Seven and a half inches, seven and a half inches. And I'll take a straight edge and I will draw a line. Okay, right where that mark is now, that's where we're going to go up and down this line. We're going to go 11 and a quarter inches from there. So I'll pull my point right on that mark there. Make a mark at here. Same thing over here. Okay, and then again, we'll put it on here. We'll put the arc out in the center. Again, that's going to be our starting point for our arc. So we'll put our point right on that X that we made right here and draw the arc out. The last part that we're going to do is we're going to go measure 19 inches because that's how long we want our pieces to be. So we want again, we use a straight edge to draw a line at 19 inches. And then what I'll do is I'll take the marker and I'll just trace this line real quick so we can see it. And that'll be our stencil for our outside radius corners for the drink tray as well as the chip tray base. Okay, here we are. We have all four stencils drawn out and we will go through and use a jigsaw to cut them out. This is the three quarter inch MDF. I um, drew out the stencils on the drink or the drink trays. And I used, I drew it on there so that way it had the longest grain structure so that way um, it doesn't split apart. And I had bought a Mastercraft edge glued pine strip. Uh, so this is all pre-made prior or when I bought it. Now we're going to attach our support rail with chip trays. 
and we're going to adjust it so that it's flush on the inside on the corners and the ends will be square around the corner here. So I'm going to adjust it to where it is square. Once you have it, just make a mark click. So that way I know where I can put it. And then we can take it off quick and we'll just put a bead of glue on there. And we're going to glue the top part here. But when we do the drink reel underneath, we're not going to glue it. So that way if we need to take this apart sometime, we can actually take it apart. The pop reel does not matter if we take it apart or not. Again, we're going to line it up with our marks. Make sure it's flushing inside. And then we will drill one screw in each side to start with. We're going about a half an inch from the edge. Cut down one of the three quarter inch MDF boards to seven and a half inches, and this will help be our chip rail support. On We're going to be cutting the middle part of the end rail uh, between uh, the top chip rail support, and it's going to be 24 and 13 sixteenths. Okay, now that we have the boards cut, we're going to place them on the end here. Um, before I do that though, I'm going to put a screw on each end so that way we can get an easier start on it. Again, we're going to go in about a half an inch from the edge. And then what we're going to do is we are going to put a bead of glue on here. Again, we're going to try to Get as much attachment as we can to this, because this is a, an area that people will be leaning on, so we want to try to get as much support as possible. And when you screw it down, make sure it's flush on the front side. There is a little bit of a crack here. I'm not to worry about that, because when we put our braces in, our braces will actually cover that. And then we'll put the chip trays on there also. That'll help cover it as well. We're trying to sink the screws in so they're not sticking out. And we'll put two more in the center here. We need to cut two pieces at 15 inches. And this is going to go corner piece and a stick man position. This is the 15 inch piece that we just cut. Again, we're going to put a screw on each side to get it started. And then we will draw a bead of glue under here. And we will tighten it down so that the inside is flush. And we'll repeat the same process on the other side. Next step is to cut all the drink rails, but we're not going to attach them yet because we're going to rotor a, a curve or some kind of edge on the front of it. Um, we'll do that all at once once we have all the pieces cut. So the first piece here is going to be on the stickman side. It's 91 inches long. And then we have two boards to cut at 15 inches. Finally, we have two pieces to cut at 24 and 9 sixteenths. Okay, we're going to be doing routing of the drink rail. And we have a little round over bit. And all I'm doing is just put a little edge onto the, onto the top of the drink rail. <laughs> Okay, now that we rounded over the edges of the drink rail, we're going to start mounting it to the bottom of the table. To do this, I, when I drew a mark in the middle of the board, because earlier in the project we had put a pencil line on the outside of the birch plywood so that way we knew where the center line was. The center line on this board is uh, 12 and a quarter inches. Then what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over. We're going to drill four color sink drill holes in here. And the reason we're going to do this is that the wood does not split when we screw it to the underside. 
Again, we're going to stay within a half an inch from the edge. Now that we have this board drilled out, we're going to put screws in here and we're going to screw to the bottom of the table. Um, what I'll do is I'll hand start the screws just so we have something to go into and we can make it a little bit easier. Okay, we're going to line up the center point here um, and we have a square. I'm going to come out six inches from from the edge of the table and we're just going to place it in hand. And then we'll come over to the other side and we'll do the same thing, six inches. Use the screwdriver to get it started in. Start it in. We can take our a screw gun. And this will tighten up once we get the braces in. So we're going to brace this up and in tight. We'll be starting to make the braces for the drink rail and chip rail support. We're going to use a one by three and we're going to make the top and the bottom parts and we'll, this will be five and three quarter inches long. We have 22 of these to make uh, for 11 bottoms, 11 tops. The next cut is cutting 11 pieces at 11 and a half inches. This will be the back of the support. I need to cut 22 pieces at 7 inches long and there will be a bevel facing each other on each end and this will be the supports for the braces. We need to make 11 brackets here for the drink tray and for the uh, chip bracket. To do this what we're going to do is we're going to use the two bevel pieces, the longer one that we just cut and two of the short ones. Um, going to make a mark on one end of each of these at three-eighths of an inch. That's on both blocks. And I will drill a pilot hole on the line for both of them. And then what we'll do is we'll, we're going to screw these into the end of this, but we'll put a bead of glue on this one first. And then I will get the screws started. I'll get one of them started and then I will hold this on here flush with all three sides. Make sure it's flush yet and screw it back. I will do repeat the same thing on the other side here. I'm going to make a mark just shy of five inches from the end. I'll make the mark right away on both sides here. Again, it doesn't really matter for this if you make it because the marks will be covered up. So you don't have to worry about whether you use a pencil or a marker or whatever. Here are the drill holes just on the by those lines. And then we're going to take, we're going to measure off 5 eighths of an inch. And again on this one, we'll drill a hole on each side. We're going to um, put the cross brace on. Before we do that though, we're going to line it up. Make sure it's flush on the ends here. And then I'm going to continue with that pilot hole, so that way, that way we don't have any cracking in the end of this piece. Okay. And then what we'll do is, since we have 
have one power hole set. That way we know where we're starting at. And we'll just put a few glue on here. And I'll put this back on. Again, I know where the hole's gonna be because I know that this is flush on the end. Get a screw started by hand. Make sure it's still flush. We're just gonna hold it tight up against the fence here. And it's flush on the end yet. Make sure to wipe the glue off. And I'll give it a touch up when I'm done. I'm just gonna flip this over, hold everything in tight yet. I'll drill the power hole through in this one. Put a screw in. Make sure everything's held tight. And everything is still square and flush. We'll drill a hole, power hole through. There's one side. I'll repeat the same thing on the other side plus the other 10 pieces. Okay, now we're gonna attach the braces here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna center it in between the cracks here. And I already drilled in a countersink hole, uh, so that way we, it doesn't crack the wood. And then also I'll go buy our bath later and I'll put a plug in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna secure this bracket to the table, use an inch and quarter screw, and then I'll go underneath and I'll drill a hole, two holes on this panel, two holes in this panel, so that way we can sink it up tight against the bracket. And then we'll take, then I'll take some screws and we'll just screw this up in tight. And then we'll do the same thing for the top. So we'll drill two holes on each side. We'll sink some screws in. 